As I mentioned in the introduction, Microsoft are looking to simplify and streamline the analytics workflow in Fabric, including the batch, extract, transform and load process that has traditionally created bottlenecks as data is clean, shaped and aggregated through the layers of your architecture. Notebooks are a very efficient way of doing a CTL, but many data analysts are not familiar with PySpark to do this effectively, and are more used to creating queries in T-SQL instead. Many Power BI analysts are used to writing SQL views against their data when bringing it into a semantic model. But running this dynamically each time puts a strain on the database and is also not reusable. Ideally, you want those views to be materialized as actual tables so that you could use them in direct lake mode and that they can be automatically updated as new data comes into the lake house. And this is exactly what materialized views is. You write a view as a SQL query in a notebook and it materializes as a delta table, which is available to any fabric workload, including semantic models in direct lake mode. Let's take a look which is the ability to define data quality constraints. So I can go over here and say, hey, if my sales quantity column is null, go and drop those rows, right? I can start defining these different types of rules. So, so data quality is just built into, into Spark, into Fabric. Exactly, exactly. And I can define things like nulls or failures. So I'm going to go and define the rest of this materialized view over here. I'm going to basically be doing a bunch of joins in my bronze layer. And let's fast forward now. You can see I built out a pretty complex notebook. It's gone and defined a lot of views that are built on top of other views that are built on top of tables. Uh, and you can see basically I'm going to go and run this ahead of time. But it's really important to run them in the right order. All these views to materialize them in the right order because they depend one on another. Yes, exactly. And so this is where our beautiful management portal for materialized views comes in. Now you can see this beautiful diagram. I didn't have to go and configure it or do anything. This is just defined declaratively. It is provided out of the box. And I can see how all of these different views are defined. You can see it updating in real time. Did you see that box just went green? That means that step has succeeded. It has finished running. I can jump in. I can see all the details, just how long it took to run, when did it complete, all of the details I need. So we're going to keep running this, we're going to keep monitoring to it, and we can see that the next tab is actually turned red, which means a failure has occurred. So again, I can just jump into this, I can see exactly what went wrong, the error message is right there in line, and in this case I can actually see that one of our quality constraints got violated, and I configured it to fail if that was the case. Now, we're going to fast forward a little bit here as well. We, I've gone ahead and fixed my issue, and now we can see everything is succeeding, all the steps look green, all the steps have completed, so as a last step, let's go ahead and actually jump into our lake house. You can see our silver and gold layers here. And the best thing is, from a user perspective, these just look like delta tables. It's more than just look like delta tables. These are delta tables, which means now everything works. You can run SQL queries on top of those. You can do the Power BI direct click on top of that. Everything exactly. works. Exactly. Everything just works end to end. So. You might have noticed that in the video, there was also the ability to include constraints. For example, to ensure that data is of the right quality as it has been transformed to make sure that your views work and the right data is returned. Again, a really useful feature that I look forward to using once it's available.